Tim is the Chief Operating Officer, Pat Packenow. Good morning to you, sir. Thanks for Good being morning. here. Wow, $95 million worth of changes. We're talking about a completely new facility. It's totally a new facility. $95 million project, uh, 108,000 square feet of new construction, uh, 20,200 feet of uh, refurbishment. Yeah. So. People are wondering what's going to happen in the interim. This is going to start in June, right? The that is correct. Okay, that starts in June. You're going to be taking down the, the old lodge, correct? That's right. Actually, it's uh, the demolished. We just demolished that building last week. It's okay. actually on the ground. So we are uh, just finishing the demo work on the old structure. And, uh, and hopefully in June, we're going to start the, the new structure. And uh, it'll be a two-year project, and we'll be opening. Um, our target date is summer of 2025. Okay, here's some of the photos, some of the rendering of what it's going to look like. It's going to be gorgeous. Now you guys are going to, the thing, there were a couple of things that caught my attention. The elevator that will allow you to see outside as you go up to the seventh Sure, it's floor. a glass elevator. Yep, and then also a steakhouse and a really great restaurant on the top as well. That's right, it's going to have a panoramic view of, the, uh, of Lake Sakakawea. Uh, there's going to be a ballroom up there along with the uh, restaurant and lounge. Yeah, and as far as gaming, you're expanding some of that as well. Yeah, on the first floor, our high, st our high stakes area will be expanded uh, along with the lobby areas. Okay, what led to this? What led to the decision to, you know what, we want to modernize, we want to be state-of-the-art here at Four Bears? Well, the, um, we need the extra rooms. Uh, we've been working on that. Uh, went through the pandemic, it was actually pre-pandemic and everything got put on hold until now so but this is something that we should have done probably about two years ago but because of the current situation we actually held off until now and um, the building that was prior the 40 rooms that we tore down uh, was built actually in the early, open early 70s right so it just used its usefulness and it was time to make a change and uh, we decided to uh, go all in and actually uh, build something that was uh, breathtaking and uh, welcoming to our customer base. Certainly, you look at some of those photos of the uh, of of what things are going to look like. It is breathtaking. Now, one thing I didn't realize is that part of that of the lodge was built in the 70s, and Correct. it was a standalone before the casino ever came. Yeah, it was uh, actually a motor lodge. It was yeah. a restaurant, a pool, and hotel, and a lot of uh, uh, weddings took place there and different things. And um, yeah, so. Uh, it sat dormant for a little bit in the, in the late 80s and uh, 93 we came back and reopened it and made it into the first structure for Four Bears Casino and Lodge and we opened that on July 16th of uh, 1993 so mm -hmm. we are July 16th we're going to be 30 years. Wow that's amazing. All right we're almost out of time here but I'm a child of the 70s and a band like Kansas coming like you guys are having Kansas come and perform at the at Four Bears that's a big deal. It's a big deal. Uh, Kansas is a wonderful show we've had them in the past brought them back um, so we have Kansas in April and we have Sean Paul in May. Yeah. Kicking hey. off our summer. There you go. Sounds like a great summer. There's going to be some uh, some construction going on, but people still, everything is available to them and they can right. enjoy it. We still have 170 rooms uh, still available for everyone. Uh, construction is being done in such a format, it's not going to affect the right. customer traffic. And uh, we got a new riverboat that we're going to be launching. We got a new sports book and uh, uh, food court that we're going to open in also in June of this year. We have a convenience store, we have a water park. So pretty much everything you need in a premier yeah. destination, we have for you at Four Bears Casino and Lodge. It's a gorgeous, it's a gorgeous part of the state. If you haven't been there, it's going to be an even uh, more stunning facility when it's all done. But in the meantime, make sure you take it in. Pat Packenau, thank you so thank much you. for joining us, and good luck. I know you're going to be a busy guy throughout this entire construction. All right, we're taking a break. We're back. We've got more coming up on North Dakota Today right now.